first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Kakadosh. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. Yahweh Kakadosh is the name of the Holy Spirit. Second Timothy. Therefore, my son, be strong in grace that is Jesus Christ. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. So this is Paul Ryan from prison to Timothy, um, after my research into the history. This is um, to Timothy. He's awaiting trial. Things aren't looking good, so a lot of people have deserted him. Uh, there's a few other churches chatting crap. And uh, it's pretty much the same situation as we have today. Let me come through this now. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus of Yahweh Shai. No man warreth entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. No man that warreth entangles himself. So that like, if you are a soldier, you ain't bothered about Nike shoes or you know, like you got kind of big... You see the bigger picture. You've got a bigger fish to fry. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. The husbandman that laboureth... That means to say there's no shortcuts. The husband, husbandman that laboureth must first be a partaker of the fruits. Yeah. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shai of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffered trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of Yahweh is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shai with eternal great glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. You know, suffer is like to put up with shit, you know. Um, in the old days, they used to use the word suffer to put up with shit. And so that means if you have to put up with shit, you also reign with him. If we believe not, yet he abide the faithful, he cannot deny himself. You know, that means Yahweh Shai remains faithful. Of all these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before Yahweh Ye Shai that they strive not about words, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. You just got a picture, this man. You know what I mean? This man might, he, Paul, you know, have after having served all this time, how was shy, he's probably thinking that he might not be around for very long, you know, and he's, he's trying to pass on all the thing, all of his knowledge and, because he, he don't know how, how it's going to go down. And thy word will eat as doth the canker. And their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Harmenius and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already. You see, this, this same sh the same shit is happening. The same shit. People talking about, oh, Edom's done away with, uh, Yahweh Shai has already come back. A lot of people talking crap, you know, and it's already written in the last days there will be people saying, if Yahweh Shai is here or there, believe them not. Do not go into the field if they say, or do not go into the mountains if they say Yahweh Shai is there, you know. So it's the same, you know, the stuff is, you know, Satan ain't changed. and But luckily for us, Yahweh hasn't changed either, you know. And Yahweh Shai haven't changed. They keep, they're keeping their word and, you know. We still have a foundation. We still have a mountain, you know. Verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. That's the Spirit. Having this seal, the sword, the Lord knoweth. 
them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Yahweh Shai depart from iniquity. Yeah, and that was written in Hebrews as well. You know, if you if you're going on the covenant, on the new covenant, you know, what I mean, if you're approaching under the veil, um, into the holy of holies, you you can't be a person meddling. But you just like a Levitical priest, you got to be clean. But in the great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also wood and earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. That is to say, not everybody who says, Lord, Lord, is uh, going to be, you know, recognized by Yahweh Shai in the last days. There are some people who have made, who are in the house that are not going to be sort of um, one of the elect. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lusts. Yeah, so all that chasing around women. Maybe if you maybe when you're younger you can get away with it, but when you get older, you gotta put some of that away away. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. And that's another thing. A big thing for me is knowing about the company you keep, you know, and making sure that you're hanging with the right people, you know. Be with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. No guile. No wickedness. Depart from wickedness. You know. Charity. Faith. Peace. You, you know the vibes. If, you, if you're if you around charity, faith, peace. And people with a pure heart. You'll know that energy is completely different. You can't be like thinking. Oh I don't know that a person's like that. No you know about the energy. You know how it feels when you're around good people. Versus when you're around people with bad mind but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes gender strifes means to um, you know bring up strifes and the servant of the Lord must not strive but be gentle unto all men apt to teach and patient you know uh, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves if God peradventure will give them repentance to acknowledging of the truth. <clears throat> to be gentle with the people that you're preaching to. Not you know, it's not all fire and brimstone like Pastor Pork Chop would have you believe and shouting at people. That's not how to do it. Be meek. Because the word is like a sword anyway. It's sharp. You know, you don't need to thrust thrust it into people. You you can just say it and it will do its work. It's a discerner. You know? It's the son of the mind and heart, so it will do its work. It will do its work. Twenty six, and that they, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, devil who are taken captive by him at, at his will. You know, be gentle with people. You know, you can't break them down. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of videos about oh yeah this person got cut yeah we cut this person we got cut we cut this person and you know sometimes i enjoy watching those but like having read this now i'm starting to think well that ain't really the ticket you know especially if you're cutting up israelites you don't need to cut them up you don't need to cut anybody up the word of the lord is sharp not necessary Let's do one more. This, chapter 3. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And this is just a society that we see right now. It's all about clout. It's all about vain glory how many likes you can get, how many thumbs up. Without natural effects and truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, high heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. 
Yeah, so understanding or having a form of godliness is to say that they appear to be godly people, but they deny the power. They don't. They don't humble themselves before the power of of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. It's interesting about this creeping into houses because it could be, you know, that they actually physically creeping into houses. But I actually, you know, when I, the spirit just telling me this is um, the creeping into houses is the music, the media. You know, the social media, the MTV, the radio, the lyrics, it, it, it's its something that creeps into a house, it, through, it comes in through the crevices, you can shut your house door and it will still come in, the television, the internet, you know, and it leads, and leads captive silly women laden with sins, you know, it takes people away. You know, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Jains and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth, men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs was also was. So that is to say, you know, they're not going to get far, you know. All these clout chasers, um, yeah, they're not going to go far, and then they will be so see shown to be fools in the end, just as Jans and Jambres, which is something I should I need to study. Verse nine, but they shall. Uh, verse ten, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of the, of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I've endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. So this, Paul being around. I mean, like I, I, I watched a video or read something about all the different places the apostles and they traveled and they seen some horrible stuff but kept on getting delivered kept on getting delivered 12 yea and all that li will live godly in your shire shall suffer persecution but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived so you will suffer persecution but be delivered as followers of your shire but people that are being wicked, although they might be seeming that they're living the life of Riley, what is happening is that the people around them are doing them worse. So they, they're slowly going down. 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Yahweh Shai. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. This is big. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and for righteousness. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That means that the scripture that is given, that is written here, is inspired by God, even as he's writing it, you know? And there's no scripture that other people can say, oh, you know, that's, that doesn't matter, or that's, you know, all scripture is given uh, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And that, the, and another big point there was that, that um, which the scripture makes, you know, knowledge of the scriptures makes thee wise, you know. Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. We all we ain't going to doubt that, but, you know, 
once you have the fear, once you're set up on the right path, that will make you delve deeper into the scriptures to first drink the milk and then eat the meat of the scriptures, you know. 17. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That's equipped, you know, furnished is like to equip, to be given the tools and the utensils and the and the, and uh, resources that you need and to do to do good works and to be perfect. And perfection is achieved not only by good works, but um, by redemption through um, the blood of your house, Shia the Lamb, that allows us to be become priests of the Melchizedek priesthood as your house I was in when uh, when we come back so looking forward to that all praises to your house Basham Yahushai Basham Ohal